I'm gonna show you how to assemble new IKEA PAX wardrobe with the new sliding doors and this is part 3 when we're gonna assemble the doors show you how to put the frames together how the soft closing works how to put the panels for the sliding doors how to take the doors off the wardrobe and put them back on the wardrobe how to adjust the hinges so the doors lining up nicely with your IKEA PAX wardrobe frames and don't forget to check out the part 2 when we're gonna join the wardrobe there is some new stuff here as well we're gonna put the bottom panel in the part 2 as well and the top panel and in the part 1 you can see how the main frame for IKEA PAX wardrobe is assembled and explain the ceiling height as well let's do the part 3 now and you're getting one box here for the doors and there is a rails included as well manual instructions you're not gonna need if you're gonna follow this video here you're gonna get those stickers and all the other stuff i'm just gonna open everything up quickly for you to see how much stuff you're getting so this is not just the frames it's the bottom and the top rail as well and ending panels on back with the screws and hinges I always organize the screws, I know better what I'm working with this way. So this is all the stuff you're getting here. There is the top and bottom rail as well, which you did in part two. So you can ignore that. So there is a uh, frames for the doors, which you're gonna start with first. You got uh, some panels, depend which one did you choose. In our case, we have two doors, so two boxes with the panels for the doors. Position the, these frames exactly as I'm gonna do it here. So you're gonna have easier time when you're gonna assemble. So these endings here, position this way. They're gonna mirror with this part here. So this ending of the long panels. So that's gonna be long side panels. I'm gonna have two dividing panels. One of them have these funny stickers here. That's gonna be the top of the doors. This one without the sticker, gonna be bottom of the doors. So the one with the sticker, we're gonna join it together. It's just one screw already there. Just put it through the bigger hole, same on the other side, put it through the bigger hole and put it down this way. It's gonna come in nicely, there is like a four points on the edges, you need to get into it. Exactly the same on the bottom side, see those four points? They're gonna come in the corners here in a dividing panel, put the screw in and push it all the way down. Same on the last one, slide it in. Now we get the Allen key here in the, with the screws and we're going to secure the frame just twisting the screw to the right side Press with the long side of the Allen key so you have better access as I mentioned don't go too hard on those screws when you feel enough resistance just stop because you're going to overrun the drive in the screw and then you're not going to be able anymore to open it or close it so just when you feel enough resistance here, just stop. And the last one, exactly the same. Lighten up with longer side of the Allen key and finish it with the shorter. Now we have the hinges. This is the top hinges inner door. Place them in and slide them up. The holes lining up there, right on the middle, there is a line. So that's going to be on the middle of the holes. Do exactly the same on the other side. So this is the inner door, slide it down, put it under those metal stoppers. You're gonna need a four screws, two on each hinge and secure it, secure the hinge with those two screws. At this point, the middle of the holes are lining up with the line there. That's important. You go up and down, you're gonna have a more work with the adjustment. Bottom hinges, four screws, coming in from the bottom side put it down exactly the same the line on the middle of the holes secure it with the two screws make sure you're on the middle with the holes see i'm a little bit up here so i'm just gonna move it and push it right up to the middle so that's important regarding the hinge adjustment later on you have better possibility doors to be completely straight on a first try if you go with that line right on the middle of the holes second one exactly the same two screws securing the bottom hinge now we can lift it up and hang it over so the sticker is the top of the doors and we're gonna hook it up tilt the door this way 
and that's how you hook it in to the first line in the top track in the top rail once you're in just put the doors down exactly the same on the other side so this is the position how you're hooking in the doors so you're not going straight you tilt the door hook the wheels and then put it down on bottom just slide it into the soft closing and click it in on one side And we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side lift it up slightly get over the soft closing all the way to the back there is this point on the middle and it's coming in and click it once it click you're in a good spot the soft closing is working nicely take the sticker off and we're gonna open this frame So just open this up, it's for the panels to come in. Open the side, the long side here on one side. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. That's the other side, open it up. Sometimes it goes slightly harder, so just pull on it a little bit harder. Don't rip it out, but open it completely all along. Now we have those stickers, eight of them, so four for each frame. So that's going into the corners and uh, there is a cut on in one corner which is going to be in the inner corner as I am going to do it here. So just put it all the way down. Try to do it on the first time otherwise you need to stick it and stick it. I think this just covering slightly different color in the corners so that just to cover the differences. Exactly the same on the top. Cover the corners. Now we're going to have those three slim dividing panels. On the edges you have these clips. Same on this side. That's going to go into the inner frame. And there you have those lines. So we're going to go like one, two centimeter on the top of the line. Click it in between the frame. Just push it in. It's going to clip. Going to close and clip in. Exactly the same on the other side. Lift it up. Is the line there but we need to go a little bit higher to get in lift it up and now just push it down and it's gonna clip in between the frame now we see we're about two centimeters from the line one two centimeters so that's big enough space big enough to put the panels in i'm gonna explain that in a moment exactly the same with the second one that we have the lines go about a finger on the top of the line on the doors same with the third one the ends coming in this way so go on the top of the line about the finger up same on the other side clip it in and stay about that on the top of the line here we a bit lower so let's just lift it up slightly so we have enough space to put the panels in second third one exactly the same and exactly the same on the other side so this is the right position before you put the panels in now we're gonna have these dividing panels one side is kind of wooden imitation other side is white you can mix them or you can have the same colors all along we're gonna go with the same colors now important things spread the panel equally on a, each side so you see here we have that much from one side and exactly the same on the other side now push it down when you're in the correct position and push this slim dividing panel down and we have exactly the same space on both sides this is important as you're gonna be able to close the frame correctly at the end you're gonna have those um, you're gonna have those plastic plugs and that's put them in on the top of the slim panels on on each side i think that's kind of securing the frame in place the second panel we're going to go exactly the same spread the panel equally on a, each side push it down once you're in the right spot same here and now we can push down the slim dividing panel all the way in exactly the same two plastics one on each side third one same thing equally spaced out on each side and push the slim dividing panel down two plastics one on each side 
the last panel coming in same space on each side and now we can secure this frame by pushing it down all the way and that secured the panel number four now we can close the sides as well just clip it in it's similar things like uh, some of the picture frames have this system you can open the frame and then close it when you have everything in and we do exactly the same on the other side we close the frame just clip it in go bit by bit it's not gonna clip all the way so you need to go bit by bit from the top to the bottom okay first doors done sliding nicely soft closing on both sides now we have the second frame so we're going to go exactly the same position it as we're going to do it here this is going to be the outer door basically the frame is exactly the same just pay attention how you position the long side and the small side is going to be the same the one with the sticker is going to be on the top so this is the dividing panels one without at the bottom and join them together exactly the same so the screw coming through the bigger opening and push it down same on all four sides secure it with the allen key which i can provide in the box as i mentioned don't go too hard on those screws when you feel enough resistance just stop because you're going to overrun the drive in the screw and then you're not going to be able anymore to open it or close it so when you feel enough resistance just stop now we have the top hinges for outer doors they are a bit bigger and they're coming in exactly the same as the small one push it down so we go under these two metals on the top the line on the hinge is on the middle of the holes second one exactly the same slide it in slide it up make sure the line on the hinge is on the middle of the holes four exactly the same screws two for each hinge secure it before you tighten them up completely make sure the line is on the middle of the holes so this is the top side that's the side with the plastic and this is the bottom hinge for the outer doors slightly bigger than for the inner doors and it's coming in from this side slide it in and exactly the same the line lining up nicely on the middle of the holes and we under those two metals on the top second one exactly the same slide it in line up the holes right on the middle four small screws two for each bottom hinge secure it see the line is nicely right on the middle of the screws that's how we need it the sticker can come off now and we're gonna hang the outer doors so just get over the doors till the bottom of the doors towards you you see how far i'm going at the bottom so that's let me get the wheel in the second line in the top rail and once i'm in with the both wheels i just gonna push the doors down and they are in a correct position go to the other side check if you're in a correct position here if not just lift it up put the wheels in a second track and push the doors in on the bottom side sliding nicely both of them now you can secure the soft closing at the bottom so just push it all the way on the side and click it in exactly the same as we did for inner door now slide it to the other side lift it up slightly as the stop as the soft closing is stopping you here go all the way to the side and clip it in right on the middle sliding nicely soft closing working happy with that now we're going to open the frame again just unhook it the long side on one side exactly the same on the other side and on the top now we have those stickers again four of them one for each corner this is exactly the same as for the previous door if in case you have a glass door or mirror doors i guess you're not gonna not gonna be visible the corners the different colors now we have dividing panels same lines as on the inner doors so we're gonna go roughly on the finger up from the line same for the second one squeeze them between the frame and the third one 
you have the same panels so you're gonna space them equally on each side see equally sticking out push them down and push the dividing slim panel all the way down once you're in you have those plastic plugs place them in one on each side second panel exactly the same the key here is just space them equally so they're sticking out exactly the same on each side and then secure the slim dividing panel by pushing it down plastics one on each side sometimes they go really easy in sometimes they go harder third panel same thing place it down equal space on each side push the slim dividing panel down make sure you right in the panel two plastics one on each side and we're gonna have the last panel spaced out correctly same space on each side push it down and now we can lock the top by putting down the locking system here see we have equal space on all four of them now we can lock the sides just push it in if you space the panels equally you're not gonna have any problems here locking these big side panels and we do exactly the same on the other side you're gonna go bit by bit here as we did in inner inner doors let's go all the way down the both doors are done now we're gonna have those slim screws and this is ending panels one is thicker for outer door one is slimmer for inner door you're gonna start with the outer door with a thicker panel and it's gonna come on the side just like this see it's resting on the bottom rail the back is nicely lining up with the side panel and secure it with the four screws which is going through the panel to the wardrobe exactly the same for the slimmer one it's gonna rest on the bottom rail first screw in make sure it's lining up nicely at the back and secure all four screws going through the panel to the wardrobe frame now we have this duster so this is for the outer door there is a big gap between outer door and the wardrobe frame so that just i guess they're just preventing the dust coming in through the big gap between the doors and the wardrobe frame so just stick it in between the top hinges on the outer door now we're gonna adjust the doors if your doors not lining up like not lining up here properly you see we have a bigger opening on the top than on the bottom so here how we adjust the hinges can do with the allen key or electric screwdriver whatever you have open those two screws do just like two three twists to the left don't open them all the way and here you can adjust on the middle the hinge you see is moving up and down the screws on the side don't open them completely otherwise the hinge gonna fall off so just two three twists and then once you adjust the hinge the way you want it secure them back in now you see we adjust it slightly but still it's gonna need it a little bit more so we are gonna have to do exactly the same on this side but i'm not gonna do that here because we're still gonna move this wardrobe to a different place so just to show you how it works here on the other side we have bigger opening at the bottom so we're gonna do a similar thing here we're just gonna twist the hinge to the different sides and it's the inner door it's exactly the same two free twists on those two screws so we just open them slightly don't open them completely otherwise the door's gonna fall off and now we can adjust this one on the middle so you see it's moving the hinge up and down where you need it i move it the wrong direction here i move it up and the doors get bigger opening at the bottom so we need to go to the other side move the hinge down and the gap i'm gonna close so twist it the other side try it if you need more adjustment you're gonna need to adjust the, the other hinge as well in our case we find here just with one hinge adjustment as i mentioned in case you need to do bigger adjustment you're gonna need to adjust the second hinge as well on an inner or outer door if you want to move the door even more then you already move them with the one hinge adjustment see the hinge is moving here up or down when you adjusting the doors from the inner side so that's how the whole mechanism work for inner and outer door so once we're done just secure the screws completely make sure you do that don't let the screws loose when you adjust the doors i show you how to take them off now you just pull them out from the soft closing 
move it around and exactly the same on the other side pull them out from the soft closing just like that push the soft closing back and now we take them off by pulling the bottom side out and lifting the doors from the hinge so that's the first door that's the outer door and exactly the same for the inner door pull this out from the soft closing push the soft closing back to the original position on the side and exactly the same on the other side just pull the doors out go slightly hard but just use a little bit of force it's gonna come off push the soft closing to the side inner door and exactly the same pull the bottom out and unhang from the top rail when you want to put them back on it's gonna be exactly the same as we did it first time so inner door the bottom is out you see how far it is just push the wheels on the first track second one exactly the same and it's sliding you can just put the bottom down now we secure the soft closing here by clipping it in on one side and exactly the same on the other side just find the right position right on the middle clip it in so that's the inner door same for the outer door again lift it up i'm i have help with the, my leg here so i can lift it up as these doors are not heavy as we don't have a glass panels for the glass panel maybe second person would be useful i just get to the second track on the top rail with the both wheels and then just push the door down once you're in you can do the soft closing on the outer door as well just lift the door slightly out they sliding already in and out in the correct tracks once you're in a correct position secure the soft closing for the outer door as well by pushing this plastic right on the middle there and it's gonna click exactly the same on the other side push the door to the other side and clip the soft closing together this is brackets which uh, left and those plastics the brackets are for to secure the wardrobe on the wall which we're not going to do in this case and those plastics uh, the white plastics they're covering the top holes and the bottom holes this is the top ones and you have those l brackets in the corners they're covered by those white plastics as well so at the bottom because we're gonna still move this water uh, to different place I'm just gonna show you how to do it just push this screw in this is the way how to lift the water slightly up even if you don't need to lift the water up just push the screw in so we can put the plastic uh, the cover in in our case I'm gonna leave it up because we're gonna move the water if I leave it down we're gonna rip that screw completely out so in our case I'm gonna leave it out yet I'm gonna put that in later on so that's how we assemble new sliding doors for IKEA Pax Wardrobe. Don't forget to check out the part two when we're gonna join the wardrobe. There is a few changes here as well. We're gonna put the bottom track and the top track on the new Pax Wardrobe. And important part one. This is quite important. Uh, entitled to get the doors right. Gonna explain everything about how to assemble the IKEA Pax Wardrobe frame. And I'm gonna explain everything regarding the ceiling height as well. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one very very soon.